Hahatching dapat ako, hindi ako mahatching. Hey guys! So what's up? It's a girl right here, Alyssa, and welcome back to my channel. Hello! Hello, hello, mga sis! Good motherfucking day to all of you. I am so excited. I am so happy because it's already October. And you know what that means? It's actually my birthday month. We're on the month October, baby. Is that? Uh, 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 uh. So, yung mga ka birthday month ko dyan, mga Octo babies. Octo baby! Mag-inga! So, yun na nga guys, since we are in October and my birthday falls on a Monday, hindi na tayo mga ka-celebrate ng Monday dahil work is life na naman ang ating inday. And so, we are going to make it today. And I was planning to make it a little bit more special. And so, as you can see from the title of this vlog, we are going to make my own birthday lasagna. And that's how we're going to say it, okay? Lasagna. That's the vibe of this video. So say it with me. Lasagna. Alright. And guys, you don't have to worry because the lasagna that I'm going to be making for today is super easy because you're only going to use the ones that are available here in my house. The one that we can see in my ref. And wala masyadong mga complicated na ingredients and I'm so sure now you can also follow this one right there in your own homes and so if you want to know how I'm going to make my own birthday lasagna then please keep on watching Welcome to my kitchen guys! Yahoo! Ayan, very cute lang naman ang aking space dito kaya naman this is the only angle that I can work with and so let's go and get started with our ingredients so first off, since we are going to make lasagna, we need our lasagna noodles. So this one, I bought it from our local grocery store. And to be honest with you guys, there is some kamahal in contact. Kaya naman, kailangan natin siyang sarapan talaga para maging worth it ang pagbili ko sa lasagna pasta na to. Next up, we also need some butter. Siyempre, hindi natin gagamitin buong lalagyan, guys. Ito naman kayo. Siyempre, konti lang para sa ating gisa-gisa later. And then, we are going to be needing our green bell peppers, garlic, and onion. We also need our tomato paste. And, of course, our tomato sauce or spaghetti sauce. Itong isa, this one is what they call the Napolitan sauce. Tama ba? And this one is the meat sauce. So, next up, the cheese. Cheeses. Ano bang plural form ng cheese? Cheeses. The different cheese na lang. So, next up, yung mga iba't ibang cheese na ating gagamitin for today. So, ito, first off, Pinoy na Pinoy, ating cheesy squeeze or ayan, magnolia yan sobrang favorite ko tong dalawang to and talagang inuwi ko pa to from Pinas and we are going to also have some shredded cheese, ito mixture na siya ng parang cheddar and mozzarella and everything else and then some cream cheese as well para mas yummy, usually guys ricotta cheese talaga yung ginagamit for lasagna recipes, kaso wala tayong ricotta kaya naman we're going to stick with the cheese that are available in our homes. You don't need to worry about it. No need to stress about it. Now you gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> and then for our meat, we are going to be needing our hot dogs or sausage or ano ba? Iba kasi talaga yung itsura ng mga hot dog dito. Hindi siya yung parang tender juicy hot dog. Pero you get what I mean. Itong ground chicken na to, I'm going to be using it dahil before pa ako magplano na maglalasagna ako for my birthday, nabili ko na to. And ang turo sa akin ng nanay ko, first in, first out. Kung anong una mong binili sa grocery, yun ang dapat mo unang ilabas at gamitin for all your cooking. I just bought a little bit pang dagdag na beef na. So, di ko alam kung okay ba yun, but you know, let's just wing it and see what happens. Guys, pala, before you chop up your onions, parang hindi kayo maiyak, make sure na you don't slice this top. So, 
stove right here and we're going to start cooking. Before tayo maglagay ng butter, lalagay mo tayo ng konting oil. Kasi this will prevent the oil from burning right away. Alright, we'll just let the butter roll like that. Garlic first. Pag medyo naamoy-amoy na, we can put on our onions. Guys, white onions yung aking ginamit dahil white onions lang po ang available dito sa Japan. Hindi pa ako nakakita sa grocery namin ng purple onion like the one that we usually use in the Philippines. Alright, once nag-soften up na yung ating onions, we can already add our bell pepper. Mixing like so. So after nyan guys, we're going to be adding our meat already. So round chicken there. So while we are mixing this up, we are also going to season it already with salt, pepper as well. Let's continue mixing para ma-incorporate na yung lasa sa ating meat. Makita nyo na, nagmamantika na sila, nagpapawis-pawis na, ganyan. We're going to put a little bop on it. And what is bop, you say? It's actually basil, oregano, and parsley. Ah, di ba, bongga? That's the bop that we need for our pasta today. We gotta season it generously. Para masarap yung lasa. And then we're just going to mix it. Sobrang bango niya, guys. Naamoy niyo agad. I'm also going to be adding a little bit of garlic powder and a little bit of magic sarap. Hindi ko alam, guys, kung gumagamit pa kayo ng magic sarap. Pero gumagamit ako, pakonti-konti lang naman. Konti lang. Kung hindi kayo gumagamit niya, you can always skip it. But if you do, you are free to use it like how I do it. Okay, so once it's all cooked, we can already add our sausage in there. Dahil ito ay, you know, mabilis lang naman tumaluto. Kaya natin siya hinuli. Alam niyo ba guys, it's my first time to make lasagna ever. Kasi before, for me, lasagna is very elite. Alam mo yun, para masyado siyang sosyal. Kaya this is going to be my first time making a lasagna. So I'm really trying my best to make it super yummy. Alright, next up, we're going to be adding our sauces. And the other one as well. Siyempre, kailangan natin sa irin para sulit naman yung ating bili. Scrape everything out of the packet. Then, we're going to just mix it. We're going to be adding our tomato paste. And as you can see guys, dito sa Japan, ganito yung tomato paste nila. Meron silang parang sachets na ganito. Which is very convenient also. Kasi minsan ayaw mo naman yung tomato paste na sobrang laki agad. And then you cannot use it naman in just one cooking. So they have this little sachet. Put everything there. Mix it all up. While this pan, this meat sauce is doing its own thing right here. We're going to be needing a separate pan and we're going to start pre-cooking our lasagna pasta i don't know if you can see it but it says here to pre-cook in boiling water for four minutes and then bake for further 20 minutes so we are only going to be pre-cooking it for four minutes now guys with our meat sauce nakalimutan kong sabihin we are going to be adding a little bit of sugar Kasi gusto ko yung Filipino style na lasa. Yung ko yung masyadong maasim na maasim. Very Filipino style and it would taste just like home. A few moments later. So guys, our meat sauce is looking really, really good. Now all that is left to do with this meat sauce is to taste it and see if it already tastes perfect or do we need to adjust anything. Mm! Oh my god, that tastes really, really good! Mahirap kasi magpakulo ng tubig kung walang takip. Magpakulo na ako sa electric, kettle ko na tubig para mas mabilis tayo. So this one, boiling water na siya right away. So as you know guys, the rule for boiling pasta noodles is to have water, put a little bit of oil, and salt in it para hindi magdikit-dikit yung ating pasta. Okay? There you go. <laughs> Kasi hindi ko alam pa tama ba itong ginagawa ko. Layer it up. 
Meanwhile. So guys, while we are waiting for our pasta to be cooked, we are going to be needing a separate bowl for our cheese mixture. First off, our cheddar. We are going to be adding the pimiento. There you go. Cream cheese. I've used this much cream cheese for the mixture. And then we're just going to mix it all up. And also guys, you are free to add or use any cheese that you like. Kasi kayo naman yung kakain niyan. So whatever makes you happy, yun yung ilagay nyo. Kasi para ma-happy rin kayo pag kinain nyo na siya. Okay guys, so with our pasta, ayan, nag-soften na siya. And we are going to transfer it in our plate. So here is the pasta guys. Natanggal ko na siya from the water. And it looks a little bit sloppy. But don't worry because we're still going to plate it in our baking dish. Alright, so for plating, I already have here our meat sauce, our cheese mixture, and then our baking dish is right here. We also have our pasta ready, so we're just going to layer it all up here. I na ako ng kamay, guys, so you don't have to worry about that. So since maliit yung aking baking dish, you over na lang natin siya to each other. Then we'll have our meat. Huwag nating tipirin yung ating sarili. Cheese mixture naman. Plop. Plop. And plop. Spread the cheese. Shred the cheese. Na meron na ring mozzarella. And guys, remember, while you're doing this, you gotta preheat your oven for 350. And then after that one, we're just going to repeat the process. There you go. Blop, blop, and blop. Layer of the shredded cheese. One final layer. Blop, blop, and another blop of cheese. Going to make this a little bit bonga sa taas. Para maganda yung presentation natin later. We're going to put a lot of cheese in there. So guys, this is how it looks like after we've done the layering. We're going to be putting this one in the oven for 30 to 40 minutes. And I'll let you guys see once it's done. <laughs> Look at the juice. Wow. Okay, we have our first slice. All is well, guys. Going to just transfer it here. Ooh, it's so meaty and it's so cheesy. And then our plate over here. It looks really, really yum. So let's taste it. We have here our first slice of the lasagna that we have. It smells so good. I can't wait to try this. So, Maramdaman mong happy birthday talaga kasi sobrang siksik liglig sa lahat ng aspeto. In the sauce, in the cheese, in the pasta, everything else, in the spices. Sobrang sarap! Oh my god! And to think, wala tayong complicated na ingredients. You know, just the usual, what you can see in your fridge. This is such a winner. Wow! Guys, kakasalita ako dito. Kakawaw ko. Maubos mo ito. So that's it guys for this birthday vlog. I am so happy that this turned out to be a huge success and it's really a bomb ass birthday lasagna. 
as I have envisioned it to be. It's so amazing that we can make something so good from just, you know, simple ingredients that we can see from our fridge. So, guys, kung gusto nyo tong gayahin, gusto nyo siyang i-follow, then please do tag me on Instagram if ever you're going to make your own. And let's eat something good to make us happy this October. So, guys, if you enjoyed this video, I hope you give it a thumbs up. Click the subscribe button down below if you haven't subscribed yet, as well as the notification bell beside it so that you will be notified every time that I post a new video. See you on the next vlog, guys.